So I hope everybody purchased a color wheel from the last video that I made. Last time I spoke about um, your eye color and the best eyeshadows to wear with your eye color. And I suggested a color wheel just because that's gonna help you with that and with everything else in, in makeup. Because basically there's two principles in makeup, that's color and line. So a color wheel is obviously gonna help you with the color part. And um, when we get into contouring, that's all, that's all gonna come together. And today, we're gonna talk about the, the correcting and concealing part of makeup artistry. And a lot of people ask me about this, and I'm just gonna go over it as briefly as I can, because I could go into great depth about this. But basically, here's, here's the deal. Take your color wheel, when I said last time, complementary colors, when placed next to each other, are going to draw, draw the, each other out, so they're going to enhance each other. When placed over the top of one another, they are gonna neutralize each other. So, with that, let's say you've got a big red zit. Red, opposite of red, we've got right here, you can just pull it up on there, is green. That's why a lot of times you'll see with these blemish serums or blemish treatments, they're green. That is because green neutralizes red. If I were to wear green or a red eyeshadow, it's gonna bring my green eyes out. But if I put green over a red blemish, it is going to neutralize that. Something that you can think about when you are using concealers. Also, if you have, if you suffer from allergies like me, I am terribly allergic to my favorite pet, my cat, and I often have the red, uh, red, red eyes and redness around my eyes from rubbing them. You're going to choose. I am. I'll tell you, for this kind of thing, for for concealing, probably not the best to go with color correctors. Color correctors, color correctors tend to be like hardcore. You've got some major discoloration and you want to cover them. That's what I would use if if I would ever use a color corrector. But a lot of times you can just get away with using a basic concealer. And an, if you're trying to neutralize a redness in your skin, you're gonna to wanna to go with a cool toned concealer, which is going to be yellow based. Yellow, blue, green are your cool tones. Those are the colors that are gonna neutralize the pink, the red. Um, but but I'm, I'm ahead of myself right now. So we're gonna talk about the color correctors. Basically, you're gonna see several. There's gonna be apricot, Apricot is going gonna, is gonna to help with skin that's too yellow. You're going to have green that's going to help with the redness, skin that's, you've got rosacea, you've got uh, broken capillaries, you've got zits, green. Um, mauve is going to help with people that are too pale. And then you've got pink, and that's going to help with gray skin. Smokers, stuff like that, older skin, any kind of blue tones in the skin, that would be a pink color corrector. Now let's talk just about basic concealers. Cool and warm. Don't listen to what the label says or what they the color says on the label. I, I've worked for co companies, I think the first company I worked for called Warm Tones, which were actually cool tones I, by an artist. They were calling them warm. Then I went to another one that was calling them cool. Then another one is naming them beige and blah, 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 blah. Forget about that. Look at the color itself. If it is a yellow base, it is a cool tone. That's what you're gonna to use to neutralize the pink and the red. If it is, looks a little bit red, orange tone colors or concealers, foundations, those are going to help with skin that is too pale, too, um, I don't know, sallow skin. That'll be best for that. Tan skin is always gonna be more warm. If you're out in the sun all day, you've got warmth. You've got red, red tones, warmth. Um, Concealers, so let's talk about concealers. That's the basics for that. You use cool, warm, depending on what. So if you're underneath your eyes, if, if it's red from allergies, use a cool tone, yellow, green, blue, yellow. Look for yellow, no, no pink. If you've got blue, dark circles, then you're gonna wanna use something with a little bit more warmth in it to neutralize the circles, to neutralize the, the blue purple tones. And you can always pull out your color wheel to see how, where your circles fall. Some of them can be more of a reddish 
some of them can be more of a blue and that's going to determine what what tones you're going to use to cover them conceal them another big big thing when you're using concealer I always recommend mixing it with either your foundation or a little bit of moisturizer you never want to get that caked on heavy look it's gross doesn't look good anywhere and some a tool that will help with that is a stippling brush you can get these at any makeup artistry line um, probably anywhere go to Ulta, Sephora, MAC is also a great place to get brushes most of my brushes are MAC anyway this is a combination these stippling brushes I got two sizes here what they are it's a combination of synthetic and natural hair synthetic fibers tend to apply heavier and the natural fibers tend to blend so you get the best of both worlds here ultimately creating an airbrushed effect when you're using um, when you're applying your concealer or foundation but it's great for concealer because I usually put some on the back of my hand and then dab the brush in it and then go underneath and it blends it and you're not using too much and you're not going to get that cakey nasty look halfway through the day or in the beginning of the day or any part of the day so that's that um, like I said I've never been a fan of the color correctors unless you've got some major issues that you're trying to work with tattoos that that would be something that you would use a, a color corrector for most of the time you can get away with covering your imperfections neutralizing your undertones with just a basic um, a basic concealer or even a full coverage foundation and just make sure you pick the right tone and I know that's probably a whole nother topic so I'm just gonna leave it at that for today that's all I got and I'll talk to you soon